Oh boy, this one's gonna be an interesting one. Okay, here we go. This one's for you, Sean Don. He requested a Korean burrito. I know I talked in the past, I love fusion food, it's awesome. Korean Mexican? This one's gonna be interesting. I've never made this before. We're going to experience this together. It's gonna be something special. Oh boy, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Just seems like a lot of things are gonna be in a tortilla. And usually I try to, you know, like test my recipes first, but we're winging it today. We're just gonna be silly. silly. I'm still gonna <laughs> send it. I'll tell you what's all gonna be in it. Most most of it is stuff that we've already covered in previous videos, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. Korean fried rice, bulgogi, corn cheese, kimchi, finished with a sriracha mayo. All wrapped up inside a tortilla, and then we're just going to see what happens. Korean fried rice, pretty simple here. Rice, green onion, egg, and carrots and peas. If you haven't seen that video, link up here. We have a bulgogi mixture. It's the exact same recipe as the bulgogi spaghetti one. This time, I'm just putting all the ingredients inside of a bowl and minus the pasta. That recipe called for six tablespoons of soy sauce and brown sugar but I cut that down to four since we're not combining this with pasta so just keep that in mind it's been marinating for about half an hour now that's cool and then we have sriracha mayo which is just equal parts sriracha and mayonnaise pretty simple and then we just have fresh kimchi that's cut up into smaller more manageable bite-sized pieces that's it for like the boring shit. well this isn't boring but stuff you've already seen okay let's move these kids over okie dokie here is corn cheese you might think to yourself like why isn't it called cheese corn wouldn't that make more sense and yes it would but this is like a weird like Korean thing corn cheese it's a really interesting dish canned corn to saute that in butter with some onion add a little bit of sugar add the mayonnaise and then we're gonna put shredded mozzarella on top of it weirdly enough Koreans are obsessed with mozzarella cheese specifically I don't know why mozzarella but that's what it is you need tortillas find the biggest ones you can I'm just managing with those I'm probably gonna end up using two tortillas I have a lot of food to cook Already hungry, I needed to eat about 15 minutes ago, so let's get right into it, right? So let's take care of the fried rice and bulgogi first. I'm gonna have two pans going at the same time, and so for now I'm gonna be working on my fried rice. Same process as usual, heat up oil and green onion at the same time to infuse the green onion into the oil. I just went ahead and put the bulgogi mixture in the saute pan. That doesn't require much attention, so I can just let that go at medium heat until it's cooked through. Add in your eggs, cook them through, then your vegetables, and then your soy sauce. A common mistake I see with people is that they don't let the soy sauce bubble enough on the pan. You basically want it to get right next to burning. Once that's done, scrape up the scorched soy sauce with the ingredients, add in your day old rice, break up the clumps using a ladle, stir everything well to combine, finish off with some black pepper, cream fried rice is done. Every now and then, check the bulgogi, stir it every once in a while so nothing burns. They should be done around the same time. So now let's work on the corn cheese. We're only gonna use about an eighth of an onion. The bulgogi calls for half an onion, so I just took a little sliver from that to use for the corn cheese and we're going to finely mince it try to mince it as finely as you can you almost want it to dissolve while it's cooking with the corn and then you're going to shred some mozzarella after it's been in the freezer for about 10 minutes mozzarella is a very soft cheese so it tends to be relatively difficult to shred and just shred about a cup worth of cheese in a pan of medium heat heat up some butter saute the corn and the onion until most of the moisture from the corn has evaporated so this may take a while depends on how well you drain the corn but this took about five minutes for me put in two tablespoons of brown sugar and four tablespoons of mayonnaise now I ended up using a little bit too much mayonnaise. I would recommend that you start with three tablespoons and go from there. Mix it up really well. Top with your shredded mozzarella. Put on the cover and reduce the heat to medium low. Let this go for three minutes or until the cheese is melted. Come back, lift up the cover and my goodness, this looks amazing. This is quintessential weird Korean food. So now we're going to assemble the burrito just because I was insanely hungry and there's just so many ingredients here and I wanted to make sure I tasted everything. I laid out two tortillas side by side, kind of like a Venn diagram. I started with my fried rice, then my bulgogi mixture, topped that with corn cheese, 
a couple pieces of kimchi and the kimchi is really going to help cut through all of the richness and a good helping of sriracha mayo. Please don't judge me on my burrito skills, I'm still a work in progress. It's especially unwieldy when you're trying to wrap it with two tortillas at once. Did I do it? <laughs> and obviously we need to cut down the middle for that beautiful cross section. <laughs> Oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Korean burrito. I almost want to consider this a monstrosity, but I also want to consider it a piece of art. I don't know what to think right now. Like, what have I done? What am I doing with my life? Okay, we got. Oh shit! Wish me luck. That's so damn good. Oh, that's stupid. This is not okay. Has science gone too far? Wow! So that's it, the Korean burrito. Korean food, there's like a ton of side dishes, but typically they're all separate and then you eat them together. A burrito is kind of perfect for that because it like puts it all together. As mind blown as I was with how well that worked, I shouldn't be surprised because this is kind of very Korean if you think about it. Um, the only thing I'd say about the corn cheese because it's my first time making that, I would do more cheese and a little less butter. It was a little it was a little much. That was a lot of fun. So Sean, thanks a ton for the idea. That was really wacky. I still don't know how I feel about it, but it was delicious. Try this. You'll be surprised how well it works. Let me know what you thought about the Korean Brio. If I like could have put something in or if I missed anything. I'm slowly feeling my insides ballooning up. So I need to get horizontal and reevaluate my life decisions, I think. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to give me like weird, funny, crazy ideas like this this was a ton of fun to make please like the video comment and subscribe i will see you next time thank you bye bye i missed whatever bye